I, we get calls oftentimes from veterans who are still on active duty and they say, you know, I, I would like to file a claim. I'm going to be separating from the military soon. And I wish I had a blowhorn to, to get in touch with all people who are on active duty so I could tell them how critical it is that when you're on active duty to file these claims while you're on active duty. Because when you file a claim when you're still on active duty, you're not a veteran on a technicality to the day you separate, but you can file for disability for your period of active duty while you're still on active duty. And when you file, the mere filing of a claim is an incident on active duty stating you have something wrong with you. So in order to be service connected with anything, you need to be able to link something back to active duty, either a diagnosis or an event. Well, the mere filing of a disability claim is an event. For example, if a veteran files a pre-discharge claim for tinnitus, he's saying, I have ringing in the ears, and I'm still on active duty, so the event's already established. The mere filing establishes the event, which is a complaint for ringing in the ears while on active duty. Usually those examinations, it's the VA's goal to schedule those examinations before they're even discharged. So if the veteran is diagnosed with anything at these pre-discharge examinations, the diagnosis started on active duty. And there you have it. You have an in-service event, which is a complaint and a filing for the claim, and then the diagnosis itself is also made on active duty. Very powerful, and people don't appreciate this. Trying to play catch up 20 years later and proving your case 20 years after the fact is a very difficult burden to overcome. But by filing these in-service claims, oh boy, uh, you can get much better results. We call it a back strain, call it nerve impairment, sciatic nerve impairment, radiculopathy, headaches, uh, sinusitis, acid reflux, we could go on and on of these things that a lot of people aren't treated for these things, but they exist nonetheless, and therefore they're compensable. So when that happens, file the in-service claim. So the VA, in conjunction with the Department of Defense, has created this program known as BDD, or Benefits Delivery at Discharge, for active duty service members who know they've had injuries or some type of disability that started while on active duty. A veteran who has a, or an active duty service member who has 180 days to 90 days left on their active duty period can file a BDD claim. And for the reasons stated, it is absolutely incumbent on the service member to get that claim filed because you have an in-service event by the mere filing of a claim. Even if the diagnosis comes after active duty, the link goes back to the claim which started on active duty. And so there again, that in-service claim is critical. And I wish I had a blowhorn or a foghorn. I would just yell and yell to all active duty service members, get the claim going on active duty. Don't wait six months after active duty and just say it'll pay back to the data separation. Get it filed on active duty for the causation elements that we've spoken about. If you have less than 90 days, there's, there, there are some, they used to have a program known as the Quick Start Program. Uh, my understanding is they phased the quick start program out and that was for people who had less than 90 days. But there's the, the principle remains the same. A claim on active duty, even if you only have minutes left, you're still on active duty. Get the claim going even if it's your last day. Get it going while on active duty. And the rest with a competent representative or attorney should be able to take care of itself.